the Lockheed Martin X-44 Manta, multi-axis no-tail aircraft, was an American conceptual aircraft designed by Lockheed Martin that has been studied by NASA and the U.S. Air Force. It was intended to test the feasibility of full yaw, pitch and roll authority without tailplanes horizontal or vertical. Attitude control relies purely on 3D thrust vectoring. The aircraft design was derived from the F-22 Raptor and featured a stretched tail-to-wing without tail surfaces. The X-44 was designed by Lockheed Martin to demonstrate the feasibility of an aircraft controlled by vector thrust alone. The X-44 design had a reduced radar signature due to lack of tail and vertical stabilizers and was made more efficient by eliminating the tail and rudder surfaces and instead using thrust vectors to provide yaw, pitch and roll control. The X-44 Manta design was based on the F-22, except without a tail and incorporating a full delta wing. The X-44 Manta would have a greater fuel capacity than the F-22 due to its larger delta wing design. The Manta was designed to have reduced mechanical complexity, increased fuel efficiency, and greater agility. The X-44's aircraft design was derived from the F-22 Raptor and featured a stretched delta wing without tail surfaces. Conceptually, the plane would have been 62 feet long, with side-by-side -side Pratt & Whitney turbofan engines generating 35,000 pounds, 15, 875 kilograms of thrust. It was estimated that the airplane could achieve speeds of up to 1,000, 500 miles per hour, 2,414 kilometers per hour with a 49,000 foot, 14,935 meters ceiling. The design would have conferred the advantages of lower drag and more efficiency with better stealth capabilities, including internal weapons bays with potential for a full payload of sidewinders, AMRAAMs, smart bombs, and a 20 millimeters internal cannon last, but not least, the overall configuration would have enabled the Mante to have greater fuel capacity to extend range. While the tailless wedge shape of the X-44 Manta would benefit its stealth profile, it also came with some other significant advantages over America's existing stealth fighters, like payload capacity and range. Design, it turned out to be a structurally simple, light airframe with increased fuel volume and better stealth characteristics since there would be no movable aerodynamic control surfaces. As a replacement for these eliminated controls to maneuver plane, yaw, steer and pit, advanced thrust vectoring multi-axis vectorable exhaust nozzles is used somewhat similar to Harrier. So considering its design, its purpose was to be the best stealth aircraft till the date. In layman's terms, thrust vectoring would grant the kind of maneuverability that would overwhelm enemy fighter planes meaning the pilot could change the angle of thrust to control altitude advantageously, thus allowing the airplane to change directions in a more aggressive manner. The X-44 will be far more than just a more advanced fighter, and instead will be a family of systems that would include autonomous capabilities, stealth, a new spectrum of weapons, thermal management of the aircraft signature, and improved propulsion with supercruise ability. Engine, Williams International F-112 turbofan of 732 ohms. Thrust, maximum speed, 176 miles per hour. Endurance, 1.5 hours. Range, 230 miles. Each of the programs is being developed with maximum connectivity, advanced sensors, and open architecture, while taking advantage of computer-aided design. In addition, the Air Force has been more focused on adaptive cycle jet engine technology. Built by the famed Skunk Works, the X-44 successfully tested multiple technologies. Its composite structure airframe was quickly built using advanced manufacturing techniques. The X-44 design refined tailless aircraft aerodynamics and flight controls. The test program also improved Lockheed Martin's unmanned command and control system. The X-44 concept aimed to saw off its tail and make the F-44 even sneakier. The Sea Raptor effort would have placed F-44 aboard America's fleet of supercarriers, offering a jet that could fly faster, further while carrying more ordnance. The X-44 would almost certainly have allowed for far more ordnance 
both in terms of carrying space inside the aircraft and overall payload capability, as a measure of lift and fuel economy. The X-44, it would have benefited not only from the increased internal payload space, but also the increased lift provided by the broader lifting body. That lift could help support more weight, while also offering greater efficiency in fuel use.